I heard about the school two years ago, actually. I missed the cutoff for the year before the year that I went uh, by about a week. I called Chris and I said, hey, I'm really interested in the school. I know you have a class in March, really interested. And he said, well, actually, I'm out here right now with the new class. Uh, you just missed it. I thought to myself, okay, I can, I can teach special education one more year. Um, so I did, and then I, but I was probably the first to sign up for the, the next year. It's grueling both on a, like on a mental and a physical level. Uh, probably more mental than physical, really. The Gregories expect really nothing less than their bar, and they don't really move that bar for people, so you either make it over or you don't, and a lot of people don't, so it's, they're, they're, they're perfectly okay with that. We had someone this year actually quit uh, on the first day, before they even saw a horse, before they even uh, touched, a, touched a hammer to a piece of metal. Yep, it was uh, that fast. Uh, Chris gave the old introductory speech and she said, nope. Bought all the tools and everything, so uh, best $50 I ever spent was on all her tools, so. <laughs> you guys ready for today? Yeah. I'll wait. So the guy's gotta be like 75, 78 years old. When we first moved here, he had horses, and that's why we started coming down here. And in the last like, 10 years, he hasn't even had horses. He just still has us come down, and all the neighbors come over uh, just to meet all you guys. And like to... <laughs> All right. You might be in hell, but we live. Try to go down the ground. Yeah. That's what he's doing to you, and if he gets away from it, he will continue to get away from you. So now, you can get under here, and just, you're just gonna have to stay stout and win these battles. So if I, if I control the toe, keep the hawk down, then I get back in position. As soon as he's not moving, I work. Boom, boom, boom. If he starts to move, then I get in a position where I can win the battle. Right here, he's thinking about it. His toe. Yep, so he's thinking about it. I'm just gonna win these battles so I don't have a big battle. Yeah. Alright, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, so that's, that's just the story. You just gotta win that battle. Hi folks, my name is Chris Gregory. I'm uh, here at Heartland Horseshoe School and we're kinda out in the country. It's springtime, so a lot of these horses and animals we hadn't seen since last year, obviously this is not a horse we killed by the years. So this is the GE pull-offs. And uh, man, this school is just fantastic. It's stout and it uh, really holds up. The length is just perfect for the amount of leverage you need to pull a shoe. I'm going to show you how I pull a shoe. I almost never cut clinches unless I have a really compromised foot or bad clinches. So I'm going to let the animal know I'm there. I hold the tool in my hand or I'll put it off my apron. I come in. I'm going to pull this foot up. Let him rest for a second. Now, occasionally a mule will hand this to you really fast. So you do have to be ready for that. <laughs> I want to be sure I'm in a position where I can really keep that foot stable when I'm pulling a hind shoe. So I don't even bother cleaning the foot after the shoe comes off. I just knock enough dirt out, pull that down, pull that down. I knock the shoe against the foot, and I pull individual nails. Now by doing that, by pulling the individual nails, one of the big benefits is if I'm throwing the shoe in my rig, I don't have to worry about nails getting everywhere. If I am resetting it, which we won't be here, as you can tell, the thing is uh, smooth and gone. But if I was resetting it, the shoe would be ready to be uh, would be ready to go. So after I get the shoe off, 
And then it's just trimmed as normal. So I clean, do my knife work, and go to town. Another neat feature about this uh, particular tool is the C grooves. So occasionally, you'll want to just open the shoe a little bit. If the shoe is cold, hold it between your knee, and these C grooves will fit right into the heels there. And then you just pull, almost like you're cocking a bow. But I can open that shoe up quite a ways. Now it works better on size aughts or larger, but that's a very handy way to maintain your level when you when you open a shoe. A lot of times when you open a shoe, you'll you'll end up springing it because you're going across corners. But with those C grooves, you're able to stay straight. So folks, that's just a little tidbit and a little bit of how-to. And uh, if you have any questions about GE tools, let me know. I'm Alexis Sawadney, and I'm from Michigan. My first impression walking here was very overwhelming. I was terrified, and it was a big, like, wake-up call, kind of. Just all this, like, it was, it's hard work, and I knew it was going to be hard, but I didn't think it was going to be, like, this extreme. <laughs> so I've been here for two weeks, almost. My progress so far, I've really got a handle on trimming feet so far and I feel really confident in that. Putting shoes on is still a struggle for me. I'm still learning how to angle the nail and everything so that's still coming to me but I'll eventually get it. And then uh, forging has gotten a lot better. In the beginning the first few days was very hard for me and I didn't understand it but I was in the forge every night until about midnight for the first week and I finally got the hang of it and understanding how to um, use the tools and everything. So we're here doing a FarmersOnly.com <laughs> profile for Siri. Do you have a question to ask Siri? Siri, how can we improve my love life? <laughs> you can't. I can't improve my Is that good? <laughs> the whole nail. Stand it straight up and down and then tilt the, the, the head to the inside. Like you, to the inside. Like you would be They're going out away from the coffee shop. Uh, well, like your, no, not your clinch rest. Anybody have a key? <laughs> we might have to burn him off. What would you have done if I ran? I just said stop. And then if he kept going, I just said stop again. This school kind of transforms you. I don't really, it sounds very cheesy, but um, it really does. If you have any vices, any weaknesses, uh, you really have to fight them and beat them in order to get through the school. I can't think of something harder that I've done in my life. I had a Marine in my class last year. I had an Army Ranger in my class last year. And I mean, they both passed, but it was very, very, very difficult for them. They said this was as hard, if not harder than their training. So broad picture in a nutshell, they're in for the hardest six months of their life. Oh,